or algae thank you for following welcome aboard the j station Hey everybody, it's me Space Chase, how's it going? Is there anything more beautiful than the sound of old Game Boy music? Yeah, for me, it's so nostalgic, just this... Just whatever it is that makes the Game Boy sound card sound that unique way. Um, oh, I've, it's switched back to Spotify, hold on. I did not have this set up to play music off of... Where's... Ah, God, it's gone. I can hear it. Hold on. Scuff is part of the brand. I did not put it on this page, did I? There, it's back. Uh, anyways, uh, all right, we're, we're, we're back, oh god, streaming, Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy sounds cool, I like Game Boy sound, anyways, uh, hey, yeah, we're celebrating that the Game Boy turned 35 years old yesterday, and also not trying to think too hard about that, <laughs> um, yeah, the Game Boy, it's, 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 it's had a birthday. I've already forgotten forgotten the years. It's probably like three or something, right? You know, ten, ten. It's been ten years since the Game Boy. It's 1997 or whatever. When was the Game Boy come out? I can't remember. It's like early 90s, wasn't it? Late 80s? Anyways, video games. Uh, yeah, I grew up with the Game Boy, so it's super nostalgic for me. It's my favorite console. So I, I wanted to do a little something. I've got a big collection of Game Boy games, and uh, that has been growing over the last uh, year and a half or so. I got myself an analog pocket and have started kind of streaming stuff. So I wanted to start things off with streaming 
uh, the first Game Boy game I ever owned. It's still the same cartridge. We're going to be playing off of the same cartridge I had as a child. Um, Kirby's Dream Land. It's, it's kind of funny. Because um, well, uh, I got it when I was a very young. Very young. And uh, we got the uh, Game Boy. Uh, my mom bought me the Game Boy that came with, like, you know, a copy of Tetris. And she was like, we should probably get you another game. And I was like, uh, uh, okay. Because um, when I was a kid, I, I didn't know anything about anything. Tetris to me sounded like some like contra, like shooty game. I had no idea what Tetris was. So I was like, I, I guess we could. And I like picked out Kirby's Dream Land. And I'm so glad that um, my mom noticed that the game that came with it was Tetris. And it was like a block stacking game. Because nothing gets Tetris. It's fun. But young me was not a big fan of that. And um, Kirby's Dreamland, though, that one has stuck with me forever. So um, we're going to be playing some Kirby's Dreamland, which we're listening to some music right now, I, I hope. <laughs> if this worked correctly. Anyways. We are going to... Hop into the game real quick. Oop. If I can... Hold on. We gotta get the Game Boy out for this. There we go. Uh, just to show that I am, in fact, playing off of a real Game Boy cartridge on my analog pocket. I'll listen to that. Hold on. I think we need to turn some of this down. The Game Boy games can get loud. Let me do a quick sound check. Apologies. Oh. Last game I was playing was like really quiet and I want to make sure that it's all coming through properly. So yeah, Kirby's Dreamland. I love it. It's such a great game. First game I ever had as a kid. Played so many hours of it. Where did I start? Oh, the, oh, I love me some Kirby. Also, I I should thank um our latest follower, Araga? Araugi? Welcome in. Oh god. It's been ages. The original Kirby before they decided on him being pink. Before they implemented his copy ability. He has inhale and he has exhale. I'm gonna try and kind of take my time with it, but every time I play this game I end up just like blasting through it. It's not a very long game. We do want to play some more games tonight. So, it's all good. I recently got like a this little novelty handheld called the Playdate, uh, which is just like a, it's a very tiny, I love it, it's got like a little crank on the side, but it's got like A, B buttons, you know, D-pad and a crank, but it, it doesn't have a lit screen. It has a monochrome screen like the old Game Boy, uh, just black and white. Actually, like it's, it's less than the Game Boy because the Game Boy had like four shades of gray and this just has, I think, black and white. But, um, it's not lit, and so I'm getting feelings of nostalgia for the days of, like, trying to find the right spot on the couch next to the window or the lamp to be able to see the old Game Boy game and play it. Also fond memories of, like, trying to play the game in the car, but the sun's going down, and, like, trying to just play bits of games in between streetlights. On the way home. <laughs> Duck! Yeah. 
I do not miss the lack of backlighting in handheld games. But I do kind of miss the portability. I mean, the original Game Boy was a huge brick. But, like, the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance SP were great at, like, fitting in your pocket. I miss having, like, you know, a handheld that you could actually fit in a pocket. So, like, still, like, even with the Game Boy Advance SP, like, I walked around everywhere in, like, cargo shorts with massive pockets. Kirby's singing is so bad, it kills everyone around him. He's just like me, for real, for real. At this point, I'm not really even thinking, I'm just playing on instinct. lollipop. I just like eating those. Yep. One of these days, maybe I should explore some of the other paths. I, I, I always take the exact same path through the game every time I play it. Mm -hmm. right, boss fight. Lo, 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 and la, la, la. Until la, la, la has a bow. Yep. Sure dreaming of the land. Indeed, Goopy Woobler. We all dream of the land some days. Whoop. Ha! Yeah, this, this game's music is iconic. It's so good. Squid, this is gonna fly by. <laughs> I always use the microphone there to get rid of those things. They explode. They always bothered me as a kid. Uh, oh, missed. All right, there's. Ah. Learned if yeah, the islands weren't floating. Most islands don't float, actually. Just, you know, land. It's a bit weird wave. Oh. Let's hope these ones do keep floating. Sink Islands. 
Uh, it would just be a water level. Oh, can you imagine a Kirby water level? I guess Kirby Dreamland 2, you get some underwater spots, everything after that, but like... This game, you can't even do anything in the water. <laughs> you just be sad. Don't remember why I go in here. That's right, it's got a one-up. Kirby's journey to the bottom of the ocean. He just thinks. You land in the blowhole of a whale and get blasted into the clouds. Kind of something that's like interesting in like these old games, especially like you see it a lot in Game Boy games, but like power ups. The uh, that was a surprise indeed. Like reading the instruction manual, it's like, oh yeah, the mint leaf, oh, the the super hot curry, yeah, oh, these are cool power ups, and like. I think you get the mint leaf like twice in the entire game. Like they're very like situational or like a um, core part of like the level. Like that's uh, necessary for this boss fight. Like a lot of old games would be like, this power up is, and explain it like in the manual. But it would be like something that just happens like once or twice in the game, if at all, or well, if more than once. That. Mm -hmm. Sir Kibble. Mm -hmm. Oh. Man, I miss instruction booklets. Always would open up the box and read the instruction booklet front to back several times in the car ride home. Just imagining what the game would be like. They wouldn't explain something that doesn't happen in the game, right? It won't mention boredom, because you'll never be bored with Kirby. Yeah, just reading the manual front and back, all of the enemies... All of the enemies would have, like, cute descriptions on them. That's the only way to get the story of the game, either. <laughs> Games didn't have tutorials. They didn't tell you the story. Uh-oh. Forgot about that. Welcome in. Oh, ah. There we go. There we go. Oh, so there are three mint leaves. We get throughout the game. How have I been? Pretty good. Doing all right. In indulging some nostalgia because it was the Game Boy's 35th birthday yesterday. Playing the first game I ever owned. Kirby's Dreamland. Mm -hmm. 
secret in the moon. Uh oh. Oh, oh no, no, keep falling. No, we missed the one up. Oh, it's been years since I've played this. Actually, it's been years since I've played this. I played this like last year on stream. Like as soon as I got my capture card and I could capture games from like consoles and stuff, the first thing I plugged in was the analog pocket in this game. Oh no, you're fine. One thing about a lot of like old bosses and games is there was always a lot of like RNG to like their stuff. Like they'd do the same things over and over again, but sometimes it'd be random, and sometimes it'd just take forever for them to give you like a, a an opportunity to attack. Like right now, like as an adult, like Krako is like super easy, but as a kid, like he was so hard, and it just sometimes felt like I'm just waiting for the CPU to like be nice and give me like a really easy run. In the game. Oh, that's right. You're developing a game. I, I I should check that out at some point. I have it bookmarked. I just need to download it. Mm -hmm. there we, go. Oh, we we can stand. On the nose and dive bomb. All right. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. Ow. ready? Oh, yeah, that's fine. I'll keep an eye on it. just flew off screen and disappeared. Not sure why there's like a whole level down there when you just float over. <laughs> and yeah, the music in this game is so good. That level, you just fall. All right. 
Yep. The final boss, King DDD. Ah, no, that's cheating. Oh gosh, oh, oh no, I might actually die. Okay. Oh, this song. Only Kirby game where GDD is actually the final boss. In every other game, like he's he's not really a bad guy. He's like he's either possessed or he's in uh, I think Kirby's Adventure. He's trying to protect this Kirby from putting the star route back because that ends up summoning uh, whatever the nightmare. In this one, he's just a straight up just greedy dude who stole everyone's food. Got him! There he goes. music is so good. I love it. I think you can barely fit the credits on screen. Special thanks to Bubby. And Cypher. many players. <laughs> also, yeah, like, there's a bunch of other Kirby's. He's got a whole kingdom of Kirby's. I think in later like iterations of Kirby, like they don't really show other Kirby's all that much, I think. Ah, here we go. Up select B. Or up select A. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Uh, back in the old days, at the end of the game, you had, to, <laughs> you, you had to turn the cartridge off. You had to turn the system off and turn it back on again. Hey, 
we go. Yeah, at the title screen. Yeah, like, that confused me as a kid. I didn't read that. <laughs> and I was so confused. There we go. Hard mode. All right, we finished the warm-up run. Now's the real one. Ah! I'm already cutting what buttons do what. Now this is the Kirby for true gamers. Oh, the, the Bronto birds fall now. They're too heavy for their little wings. All the enemies have weird, different attack patterns. Ugh. No. Ah! Oh, jeez, that's right. He dashes at you. Stop it! Up. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Gosh, the enemies do two points of damage sometimes. Oof. Okay. There's the tomato. There we go. Stay up here for a while. Nah. Down! Got him. Days I should actually explore the castle because there's like so much more if you don't take this specific route. But this is just how I always played it, so. Ow. Oh, the, the jumping Gordo. Oh, geez. guys called? Was that... I think that's right. Yeah. Anyways. There's skulls now. Oh, yeah. Oh! Yeah. 
so much faster now. That's too on Lolo. Ah! Okay, there's one down. Hey, come back here! Come back here! No! Stop! <laughs> ah! Okay. Nope. Wait, why you gotta... Ah! Gonna be popping up all over the place, huh? Ah! Ow. Alright, we got it. Woo! keeps reversing the jump and inhale buttons. I'm so used to games these days now, like, jump is, like, the bottom button, which I guess would be B on the Nintendo controller. Is it, like, A on Xbox and, like, most generic controllers now? Oh, I should have saved that for this next part, because these things explode. Ah! Aha! Yep. So it up. Ah, the ghosts escaped through. Right, we would uh the bomb falls on the other side, this one. Alright, we gotta get that one up. Put a spiky guy there. Yep. We're gonna need those. Two. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drink your soda. game actually slows down. It can't handle all of this action. The poor Game Boy processor just couldn't keep up. Uh, too many sprites. Ah! The cannon's going nuts! And it's kind of weird, like, how, like, back in the day, like, slowdown was kind of, like, a regular thing in a lot of games. It wasn't it, like, um, the Tetris Attack or, um, Panel Day Pawn, like, the mechanic of, like, things pausing when you get a match is actually due to, like, the game lagging. And they just kept that and, like, programmed it in, like, later versions. Oh, gosh. I got a Kablooey, Kabula, whatever your name is. Slow down. Slow down. Holy moly. Got it. Woo! 
All right, we're gonna need all of these lives. We're gonna have to fight him again in King Dedede's castle. Hmm? That poor guy just goes falling out of the sky. Ah! Scarfies. Oh. Run the umbrellas home in on you. Ah. That wasn't smart. Oh, there's so many guys here. Boomerang bro? I forgot his name. It might just be Boomerang. I'm about to die. Oh, jeez. They come back at an angle. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. That's what the extra lives are for. Oh, that was close. That was bad. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. Here we go. Sodas. Get the one up. Oh, this crack goes so hard. Yeah, okay, and then he bounces back and then swoops back again, drops bombs. Yeah. Ah! Oh no, I, I botched that. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Ow, okay. Stand in the right spot. Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh. Okay. Okay. There's, there's, like, right here. Okay. Nope. Oh. Okay. Here. All right. Oh, no. I keep, why do I keep doing that? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. okay, now we got it. Now we got it. Got him. His actual, like, boss form at the end of the level is easier than that. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> Oh, the stars hurt you in this one. 
The falling stars actually hurt you. They're just like a little neat little like a background element in the regular game in hard mode. They will hurt you if they hit you. Oop. Watch out for the umbrellas. There we go. And I think there are spikes now here. Yep. Oh, thread the needle. Where's my one up? There's no one up. Oh, it's just spikes all the way down. Oh, that's not great. I get three lives. Yeah, that's right. Krakow sits in the middle. Ow. And yep, just jump. That doesn't do anything. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you do your little laser thing. Jump! <laughs> jump! Ha! Ah. It's like so much easier than the mid-stage boss version. Aha! Uh -huh. All right. All right, on to DDD's castle. Same thing. Yeah. Finding Wispy Woods. Ah. Uh -huh. Ow. Come on. Oh, jeez. I should not be taking damage on Wispy Woods here. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Oh no! Oh, this is very not good. There is no health between here and DDD. Ugh, we at least... As long as we don't run out of lives, though, I, we keep our progress on each of the bosses. If we have to continue, we have to do them all over again. Oh, there's no way we're getting through this. All right, how long can we last before I take the one hit? Oh, oh, ah, okay, there it is. <laughs> Crab can't touch us. At least this is a really easy one to get through. Oh gosh. I can thread the needle there, get through the hole. Up, 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 up. I like that the uh, hitbox apparently is big enough. It counts for grabbing the Kirby, but not for hitting the Gordo. That's very generous. All right. This is gonna be hard. Oh. Uh. 
<laughs> Please die. Oh, we got two health left. We're probably gonna lose that. Ugh. Oh, this. Yeah, okay. Alright, we gotta be very carefully. I said we gotta be very careful and immediately not carefully take damage. Okay. Alright. That's one on each of them. And we're dead. We're probably going to have to redo this and take a continue. Because DDD is also pretty hard. Dive bomb! Okay. Mm. Mm. Right, one on each. One Lala. Right, we got Lala. Now just Lolo. Oop. Come on. Come here, you. Get get back here. Oh boy. One more. Got him. All right. And then... Krakow's, a, Krakow's stage. Oh, jeez. Sheesh. Oh, no. Okay. Yep. Not yet. I don't know why I go to this corner, but... I guess that's where he starts the bombs. Yep, jump. Ah, oh. Okay, give, give us the bombs, thank you. Stop doing that. Just, just bombs. Only bombs. I said, stop doing that. Thank you. Like a lot faster in this one. Okay. All right. Got him. All right. Oh. Jump across, huh? On. Uh, right. uh. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha! We got him! We got him! Uh, well, thank you. Um, I mean, I've been playing this game for like 30 years, so. <laughs> it's, it's not that super hard. Um, the hard mode is definitely like throws you for a loop with a lot of things, but. Eh, it's harder than it looks. Or easier than it looks. Mm-hmm. 
There he goes. And then we get the extra credits that shows us all the enemy names. That's right, it was Gordo. Gato, the cannon. Poppy Bros Jr., Happy Grizzo. Wizzy. Ruler. <laughs> Broom Hatter. Glunk! I love Glunk. Who are from a different game, if I remember correctly. But the squishy Wizard! That's this guy's name, like Kablooey? Kabula, that's right. Dizzy, Kookler, Puffy, Scarfy. I love Sir Kibble. This is funny. These are both Cracko. They are the same person. And then these guys. Blopper. Tuki. I don't remember any of these guys' names. Scholar. Chucky. M Mr. Pumpkin. I love Mr. Pumpkin. Latsy. Peaser. Crumples. These are... Uh, S tier names. These are the best possible names. Benny. The guy named Benny. And then King DDD. -da 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 -da. Oh, poor guy can't even stand up now. You're our hero. Down B and select. Oh. Kirby's ready to fight. He's crying. Oh. Oh, poor guy. All he wanted was the entire nation's food supply. Did he really, truly deserve this? Let's go back in and... The super special secret. Yep. Don't make it. Did I already forget what the combination was? Why is it? Why is it? Okay, something's off with this. Down select B. It it seems to think that select is also the um, home button. Mm. E. Select down. Why is down and select registering as the home button? Down and select for some reason it wants to register as the home button, and I don't know how to make it not do that. All right, we don't get to see that. Sorry. The analog pocket said no. Get one more shot. Yeah, why is that registering as the home button?
I think it might be something in the controller's firmware. Alright, we're, we're not gonna troubleshoot this anymore. Apologies, you don't get to see the super special mode. Well, actually, you know what? Hold on. Yoink! We're just gonna take it out. Back in the dock. There we go. So, we can do a one-hit run on one life if you want. You can give yourself extra lives. And it's got a sound test, so you got... <laughs> Anyways. Alright, so that was Kirby's Dream Land, first game I ever owned. So I also want to do... Apparently, they, there are still people that make Game Boy games. There's some indie developers. There's a, uh, I think it's called GB Studio is actually the um, platform dev kit tool, whatever you want to call it, environment. Um, so I downloaded a few free ones off Hitshot.io, a few demos. Uh, we can do a few of them. First one I want to try out is Space Samurai. So uh, we can do a few newer Game Boy games. Oh, that classic sound. This one looks cute. It's just like a little simple side-scrolling shooter. A GP Studio. Ooh, it has an art gallery. We'll do a little, little space samurai shooting. The space shogun is dead! A civil war ravaged the planets. You are the last samurai protecting the galaxy. Fight against the Scourge. Oh, okay, what? Controls. Oh. And we died. Yep. We're, we're, we're spa the space shogun's dead. We only have up and down. We can't go forward and back. Ooh. Oh, that was close. Ah, level two. Oh, oh, we got it. Game over. Uh, space Ink Pack from old Nokia phones. Tried to port to a Game Boy using GB Studio at 2020. That's all because of... Oh, really? That's cool. I want to try some game development at some point. I, I've done a little bit. Um, just in school. Uh, it's a bit slow, yeah. Um, when I was in college, actually, I took a course, um, on develop, uh, game development that was actually for the Game Boy Advance. Um, like, the school didn't want to spend any, like, resources or money on, on it. Like, the instructor for the course, like, really pushed hard to just get them to allow me to even teach it. And, um, he basically found a textbook online that uh, someone had like they couldn't get it published so they just released it for free on developing for the GB the GBA and used like a hacked dev kit that like people had made and um, was literally learning as he was teaching the class um, I think we we're halfway through the semester before he figured out how to actually get like constant scrolling working And, like, he, he was, like, asking around forums and stuff and getting answers that were, like, oh, well, I figured it out myself, so you should, too, because developers. <laughs> but, like, it was interesting. Like, there was, like, nothing, like... Oh, we can go forward here a little. Oh, boy. Oh... Oh, 
Oh, that hit us. Oh, we died. I'm gonna give it one more go. But, uh, like, we had to do everything, like, manually. We had to write the code to actually, like, write the, um, sprites and all of that into the actual, like, memory. Uh, like, visual memory and, like, switch the, like, I think memory address stuff and, like, to scroll and, like, move things around. It was, like, really, like, bare bones. But it was fun. I want to get my stuff put together for my new model debut, which I'm, I'm hoping to do in a couple weeks. Uh, and then I should have, like, some extra time. And I want to try my hand at maybe uh, playing around with maybe Godot or something and just seeing if I can learn anything, how, to, how it works. I might take a look at also like the Playdates um, development kit. Because I, I got one of those and they're kind of neat. <laughs> All right. So we got big. I'm not sure what killed me there, but I, for some reason I couldn't fire. Alright, that's Space Samurai. Actually, well, hold on. Oop, not that. I'm gonna look at the art. I didn't see the art yet. This is a little free game. I've had it for a while, but uh, it's on itch.io. There's a lot of there's a lot of Game Boy games. Art gallery. You must defeat the scourge. Okay, fine then. All right. What else did we get in here? Ah, oh, I should have checked to see if there are like any updates to this for um, like the the logo. Um, what I've got. Yeah, this is the Bud Dude one. The spiritualized one is pretty good, but. I don't think he ever updated it once they added the ability to put, like, um, video filters on it. So, the Bud Dude one does. Um, uh, the Witches and Butchers demo. That game, I think they're still doing a Kickstarter for it. I've been kind of looking at that. But they also are releasing, like, a physical, physical cartridge and everything. It's actually for Game Boy Color, but it works on Game Boy, so... Since we're celebrating the birthday of the original Game Boy, we're going to try and stick to that for the most part. Moco Canyon, home of countless evil monsters. I, I think there's more text. Luluvia is getting dark and seems like the storm is coming. Oh, that's Luluvia. I should quickly find the place to camp until the sun rises. Press A to shoot and move with D-pad. I see. Oh. Ooh. Oh. We're lagging. I think the Game Boy can handle this. Hmm? I don't think this game's meant to be played in Game Boy mode. It's funny that it can be. Oh, that's a lot of bullets. Whoop.
Oof. Ooh, it took some hit. Oh. Aha! We've made it. Uh oh, we're being chased by somebody. It seems like there are no more monsters in sight. Now we're trying to prepare some sweet cinnamon buns. La la la, I love cinnamon buns. That is relatable. Better save one of those buns for me. Crazy? Worm, is that you? The one and only. After spending these years helping my tribe, I wanted to go back to adventuring. I heard the rumors about this giant monster causing chaos, and I was pretty sure that it would find you. Haha, you really know I enjoy chasing creatures all the time. So if you're following me all this time, it means... You missed me? Because you really missed... Because I really missed you. We have to team up again and become a powerful duo. Just like in the good old times. Aww. Of course, always down for an adventure with friends. Especially when there are cinnamon buns on the equation. Buns, cupcakes, even... Coyotas? I love cooking. I can also cook burritos and spicy stuff if you like. That's why my... Love. That's my love. You know I'm... You know how to make me happy. But for now, I'm fine with one or two cinnamon buns. Sure thing, let's have some buns, then we will have to... Travel together and gather ingredients for more after. We take a rest, what do you think? After we take a rest, what do you think? Haha, ah, we just met and are already having a task to do. Oh, Luvia. As bossy as always, let's get those buns. Worm has joined your party. Hey, Luvia, there's a farm at the end of this road. Maybe we can find the ingredients we need there. Main quest obtained. Let's get this bread. Reach the farm at the end of the stage. Companion controls. Press B to use the support skill. Select to swap character positions. Attacks and support kills depend on who's in front. Try them out. Oh, okay. Okay, this game is not... Oh, he throws an axe. This game was, uh... This is supposed to be a Game Boy Color game. It is not <laughs> meant to look like this. It's weird that it lets you launch it through the Game Boy. Okay, maybe. Maybe we'll relaunch this. We'll do a little bit of Game Boy Color. According to Nintendo, it's the same system. So, I mean, but it's still Game Boy. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Oh yeah, that the, it's moving better too. Yeah. Ow! Got a nice beat to it. See in the cutscene. It looks much better on Game Boy Color. 
That poor guy's name is Worm. Chat, would you still watch me if I were a worm? Slower attack, but more damage. Sport ability, I don't know what that did. Oh, it freezes him? I'm not sure what the support ability is doing. the screen, but nothing seems to happen. Ow. Oh, my timing with the shooting is off. over there. Maybe we can restock on ingredients and take the rest here. Take a rest here. Not so fast! You two are causing too much noise in this forest. This territory is not safe for you foreigners. So I suggest running away while you still can. Decide who will talk. A worm should be the talking. Listen here, you tasty hunk of flesh. That is... Uh... Not a way to greet people that is not appropriate. Um, you're gonna get written up by HR if that's how you talk to people. That's uh, you either back off and let us do our thing, or I'll turn you and your donkey into a taco. Your choice. Got a dangerous beast right here. I will impale you and make a tasty kebab. Now come, now come here, you worm. Wait, how do you know my name? Just a warrior of Bacchanor. Uh, I, the mighty Justo, admit defeat. But your actions have consequences, and now more knights, like me, will have their eyes on you. You will regret messing with the knights of the Castle Valkanora. Castle Valkanora? I think I've heard about that place. It's the biggest city in the economical hub of the region. Why are there knights here? We should not worry about it yet. I'm hungry. I would kill for some cinnamon buns. Well, we almost killed that weirdo, so I think we deserve them. Let's look inside this farm for anything useful. Aye, aye, Captain. Hmm? In we go. Look! We're so lucky! I was able to find sugar and wheat! Check that cow over there and see if she can give us milk. Ooh, sugar. Okay, it's milk time. Ah! Fantastic, this game has milking. Ooh, she looks happy. Hello, cutie. Can you have some milk? Ooh, she doesn't seem to mind. You got milk! 
Use the cauldron to cook a bun for worm. Cooking tutorial, absolutely. Use up down to highlight ingredients. Drop and dreams, okay. Better uh, cinnamon bun, wheat, sugar, milk. Well done, you got cinnamon buns. You cooked them? Awesome, let's enjoy this meal. We're getting plus five attack. Ah, we got a, a backup. Just like Grandma used to make. Aw, oh, thank you, worm. Right, continue on our journey. menu. Ah, pause menu available in Townsend and are now entering Guama Forest. Yep. Our journey continues. Uh-huh. We return and cook. We need it. Oh, okay, cool. This is like a little rest spot. Uh-huh. Can we okay. start party? We just continue on. One more step, and you will enter the cursed forest. Recently, saw some shady knights meeting up here. To so enter at your own risk. Uh oh, we're under attack. Oh, cool, is it? Ah. It's an RPG, it's got like random battles that are a little shoot 'em up bits. Kinda reminds me of Sigma Star Saga. That was a fun one on GBA. Obtained wheat. Finally, we have reached the town. Lots of dialogue. Inside buildings. Of course we can. Hello. Oh, hello. If you're looking for the potion maker, that would be me. Floor, if you are looking for the guardian, well, I'm taking care of him. He is badly poisoned. He got poisoned while patrolling the place. He was the only one helping us defend the village from the monsters. We have to treat his illness for our village's sake. Come deep in the forest and ask you a favor. You want me to gather ingredients to make an antidote? Count me in. I like your initiative. Straightforward path. <laughs> Lots of talking in this game. path leads to the night secret hideout. Do not enter. 
lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Entering dungeon, curse force, are you sure? Yes. Our first dungeon. Will be regular. attack does. Oh, it's like a teleport. Okay. Is that what happened? Pushka, warrior of Valkanora. He's got a machine gun, or she's got a bazooka. Need mana? Is that what he's saying? Of damage. Nope. Axe is a little harder to predict. There we go. Dungeon complete. Ooh, wheat, sugar, milk. Anything for like the antidote. Oh, more knights. Anything, and we had nothing to drop. Too bad. Oh, well, 
Hm? Uh, you John by you? I know you've reached town. We've already done this. Let's see what happens when we talk to that person again. Talk to this person again, I guess. Oh, there we go. Hello? No. Interesting. All right. Well, that's the Witcher, Witches and but Butchers demo. Let's see. I've got a few in here. I don't know what we all have time for. Um. Let's see. Are after. The far after demo. This game looks kind of interesting. We'll do this and maybe we'll throw in another Game Boy cartridge and try something. Here we go. Kind of angry. Combat tutorial. Take a look at that. Now he looks extra at that. Combat begins. Let's keep hitting and see what happens. So it's kind of like almost a pseudo turn base. You can move around. Yeah, you get uh press select. Get special attack. Combat menu. But like you also take it. And, like, it doesn't seem like you can avoid them. Like, it just kind of hits back. Yeah. Right, you want, like, 16 magic for... There we go. For shock. And we give him the big zaps. And we get a level up! Look at that, you did it. Let's leave. Hey, wake up! Tasso! Get up! Stop sleeping and come out here! Is it? What time is it? It's like midday! You've been sleeping for way too long! Mm -hmm. Monsters. Ooh, there's a monster guide. Press A to interact. Did it happen to you too? Did what happen? Follow me, I'll show you. Oop. Ah! I think this is another one that kind of meant for Game Boy Color, but... Oh. It works on Game Boy. Okay, check this out. Look at this! Whoa! You found a glowing rock! Oh, Tasso, I got my magic! I've been trying to do this forever, every day, and finally it happened! Does it only glow, then? No, not only that, I can also... Throw it super far! Oh, it's like an arrow! Hey! Watch where you're throwing things! Ah! I have a... You could, you could have taken my head off! Didn't you see me working there? I thought your hair was just a bush. That's... Mm. My hair? You're saying it looks like a bush? Well, no, I... I mean, yes, I... Uh... Oh! Whoa! Ack! You got yours, too! can cast the spell, throw things good. 
Magic? Ugh. Something wrong? You two are already hard to deal with. I gotta worry about magic too? Alright, one second. You take these cool sticks. What are these for? This must be your catalyst, Tasso. Yep. All magic needs a catalyst. Can we just use our bodies as catalyst? You can, but that's very, very dangerous. You can really hurt, right? Oh no, you can die. Hence the sticks. Please, just use the sticks. You got a cool stick. Moving around, but only outside of town. We're gonna head to the bridge. Oh, I think Valos is over there. Mm -mm. Please be careful out there. Oh, the trees. Isn't it dangerous up there? There's monsters or something. Ah. The sign says, The voice hides behind the village. The voice? Oh. Big slam. Big slam. And level up. So we don't have as many cool magic skills as we did in our dreams. Hmm, interesting. Let me get up there. Aha! Big slam! Hey, big slam! I'll give it a big slam. Ha! Ah. You got a trophy. Well, there we go. Hey! We won. We won the game. We got a trophy. This is... Ooh. We reached the end there. It might be something special. Oh. You got another trophy. Ah, a wolf! Oh, we, we got to fight this wolf? We don't have to fight the wolf. Alright, wolf's gone. We're at two hit points. Uh oh. Alright, see if we can get to the end. Hmm, a little light platforming. Hmm, that. Ah. Right? Uh huh. Oh! You got a special health orb. Ooh. Inventory. Inventory's kind of broken. Probably because I am playing Game Boy mode and this game is kind of meant to be Game Boy Color. I'm noticing that's an issue. The some of the ones I've tried. Hmm, this is strange. Have you seen plant before? Oh yes, it's flame bark or something. Can't get through. Yeah, I think it's super flammable, so I guess we'll need some fire. Yes, Noldia, he's a smithy. Alright. Back to the village. Like the boy sprite. Yeah, the sprites are really cute. Hmm. Anything this way? I think we need some better magic to explore there. It's giving me a terrible feeling. Yeah, that's the scary... The scary woods at the end of town. Lavo. Hey, Lavo. I got my magic. Oh. That's splendid. Hold on. 
One second. Someone keeps ringing my doorbell. I'll be back in a second. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. There was nobody there. I don't know what's going on, but... Oop. What? what? Wait, how am I here? Where did I... Oh! Hot spring. Ooh. Ah. Moldia! Check out- I got my magic! Very nice. I knew you'd get it any day. Do you have some fire we can borrow? I think I get some fire? I'll do you one better. Let me teach you how to ignite fire. Come out of your catalyst. Oh yeah! Finally! Mara Iphas can't teach us anything. All right, before we start, I need to know you are capable enough. Hey, these kids learned how to do magic. Let's immediately teach them fire magic. This won't backfire. Bring me five leafies, two big teeth, and four whisks. Then I'll show you. 
<laughs> Vitus. Look at this, Vitus. Got my magic. Wow! That's epic cool. That is epic cool. I love the character portraits. They're really cute. Amo. Hey, Amo. I got my magic now. That's so nice, Tasso. I'm very happy for you. Hmm? Okay, I think we need to... I don't know if there's anything at the top of the village. We lived at the top of the village. I think that was our house, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I think there's something up there. Ooh, there's another vine. Interesting. Oh, alright. Down we go. Down. Wait, over there. This way is down. Let's see. wing seeds. I don't remember what we all needed again. We got a lot of magic. It's dead. And there's an X there. And the big slam. Level up. fight it. Oh, I see these cute little things that I just want to talk to them. I don't want to murder them. for us? Nope, he just stands there. I wonder if I might have bugged some things by trying to play it on the Game Boy emulator instead of the uh, Game Boy Color one. Five leafies, two big teeth, and four wisps. Big teeth, we need the leafies. I don't see leafies. Oh, we have nine leafies. Four wisps. We need like two more wisps to find out where the wisps come from. These guys with the leafies. Ah. But he's got whisks. He's got whiskers. Alright, one more. Classic Game Boy, slow down. Level up. Thanks for. I think we got everything now. And if that's where we got the trophy. We go down. Nope. 
I want to jump, not talk. Yep. Hey, nice! That was quick. We can take monsters out faster than you. No. Anyway, you kids let me show you how to light up that cool stick up. Fire. You learned Flame Slash. I can enhance that cool stick if you want. Just talk to me again. We can work it out. The items? If I'm going to upgrade that stick, I will need 10 leafies, 10 big teeth, 10 wings, and 5 bruises. Ooh. Interesting. It's a really neat little classic RPG. Alright. Alright, let's try this out. Flame Slash! Flames! This is some good power. And what else we can learn? Maybe we should ask the others what they know. Yeah. But first, I want to see the bridge. We have taught the children to harness fire. Nothing bad could happen from this. This is not the bridge. I guess there's a lot more forest. Time for more exploring, then. Mm -hmm. Ghosts! Flames! It's dead. Ooh. Doesn't look like flame bark. Try hitting it anyways. More flammable, I guess. What if I just... Well, that didn't work at all. Maybe we need magic for this. New magic. I see, so we're going to be going back and collecting stuff and getting new spells to level up to progress. Kind of neat. I think we kind of got the gist of this one. Um, what time is it? I'm going to do one more before we go. Um, I don't have a lot of time, though, so... We're going to grab a cartridge. We're going to grab a game cartridge real quick. I'm going to pick something from the old collection. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. You know what? I figure we should end with the old standby classic Tetris. Good old, regular old Game Boy Tetris. All rights reserved. Classic Game Boy Tetris. Da -da -dum, da -dum. I actually had a friend who had Tetris, and we could play with the Galink cable on our Game Boys when I was a kid. Back in the day, you had to get the extra Link cable. And connect your two Game Boys together so you could do multiplayer. I think I remember correctly, they had, like, Mario and Luigi, like, playing it. Like, your characters, or something like that. I was not good at Tetris. I mean, this is the classic right here. This was the killer app for the Game Boy. It came with the console. This was the new hotness that everyone wanted back in 
19... It's like 87. It was much later than that when I bought my first Game Boy. Or when I received my first Game Boy, I did not buy the Game Boy myself. It was purchased by a parent. Do 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 do. Problem. You have a bigger problem. Yep, there we go. Still have a problem. One line. Got nothing. We're, we're, we're falling. We're floundering already. Oh god. Okay. I'm I'm not a, I'm not a. Ah. Okay. We're good. pieces in this one. If you're trying to do full Tetrises, you had to just start setting it up and just keep stacking things and just pray for that long piece. Oh my goodness, we are... We are not doing well again. song. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's opened up again. Got a double. Double double. Oh, it did the dooty dooty doo. That means you're doing well. You know you're Tetris and right when it goes dooty doo doo doo. Oh, oh, look at that. We dug ourselves out. We dug ourselves out of the hole.
impromptu thing. I didn't really know about the whole Game Boy birthday thing until yesterday. <laughs> and I figured, like, hey, I had already looked at a bunch of, like, Game Boy stuff on itch.io and downloaded a few. We'll, we'll get back to some of those, I think, later. I do want to play some more of those on stream. Um, what did I just do on my messed up? Hold on. Anyways, um, but yeah, um, streams are kind of up in the air right now. Um, I'll probably have something to do on Friday and, uh, maybe a little bit Saturday. I want to finish some stuff up and get ready. I want to debut my new model. I, I need to get a few more things set up, but I want to, I, I want to set a hard date soon. It's probably going to be like in two weeks. Um, but I, I want to get it done. Uh, anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, see if there's anyone we can raid. Uh, hmm. I think we're just gonna end stream without raiding tonight. Uh, I'll call it for now, but uh, thank you so much to everybody, and uh, I will. See y'all next time. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.